If you're looking at um, finding a used Tesla vehicle or you're thinking about reselling your vehicle to Tesla and here are some insightful information that you need to know before you take any actions. Okay, so here is a post from Reddit. A guy tracked the price of 3,000 Tesla vehicles listed on the Tesla website, specifically uh, for the San Francisco Bay Area in the United States. And he has been tracking all the cars for four months. And he found some of the insights across the models and also some insights model specific. So here are some general insights uh, usually Model 3 and Model Y, they are listed for 5 days before they are removed from the list. Uh, that means they are sold. And Model S and Model X takes a little bit longer to be removed. And they say an average for around 7 days. And Tesla automatically lower the price if the car doesn't sell. So the price cut would decrease by 200 per day. That is an average of the price uh, decrease. And around 68% of the cars only have the autopilot, while 29% have the full self-driving and 3% with the EAP. And this is interesting because these cars are being used in the United States. So I would assume the FSD uh, percentage is much higher compared with the global average, especially like here in Taiwan, FSD has not been open. And so I would expect for the rest of the world, the FSD percentage would be much lower. Three factors are most critical for uh, resellers or the buyers of these vehicles. The first one is 1,000 miles driven, price reduction per 1,000 miles driven, and price reduction per month and also the model variance whether you want to get the standard ones or you get the long range or performance so I did some comparison and share with you here first is the price reduction per 1000 miles driven uh, the model the model 3 is the most economical one it only comes to $97 per 1000 miles driven and compared with Model Y's 133, Model X 183, and Model S 211. And the price reduction per month, uh, Model 3 is always the lowest. It comes down to 127. Compared with Model Y's 239, that's almost doubles from the Model 3's. And Model X 424, and Model S 530A. So this is interesting because uh, this is before the Juniper model and before the Highland model. So basically Model 3 and Model Y have shared a lot of um, similar or identical components. So, however, you see that the depreciation for Model 3s are much lower in terms of the miles driven or in terms of the uh, price reduction per month, especially the price reduction per month. Uh, model Y's is almost double Model 3's. So I assume that because Model 3 is probably one of the most popular models uh, for reselling um, Teslas and in the second hand market as well. And it is also priced very reasonably in the United States. And so it is already hitting the, the pricing floor. It doesn't go much lower than that. So uh, in terms of the C, uh, cost and performance, in terms of the uh, uh, remarketing value. I think I think Model Three is performing quite well, and they are still uh, continue to be very popular. And if you want to get the uh, model variants for the long range, it would cost you three thousand five hundred for Model Three to get the long range version, and it would cost you five thousand and five hundred for Model Y for long range, and for performance. Uh, the Model 3 would be would cost you 2300 while Model Y costs you 3100 Here it's an interesting fact for repair vehicles, uh, they are priced lower. Uh, and that is for Model 3, that's uh, 860 And 
1600 for Model Y if your vehicles are previously repaired. And another interesting finding is color. For Model 3, actually black color and gray color have better reselling values. Uh, they are $221 and $150 respectively. And compared to red, white, and blue, they all have minus uh, reselling values. Uh, and for Model 3, interestingly, the color red and black have better reselling values. Red is around 341 and black is 199 Compared to gray, white, and blue, they have a decreased minus reselling value across from $121 and $113 and $306. In terms of the wheel size for Model 3, there is no significant difference between 18 and 19. However, for Model Y, the 20-inch wheelers will cost you a $350 premium. Now, a month ago, I decided to get the Model 3 refresh here in Taiwan. And actually, I have Tesla uh, evaluated how much they would pay me for my old vehicle if I decided to trade in. And this is a 2020 Model 3 standard range uh, without the double layer glass, without the power trunk, and even with the Intel processor. This is already an old car. And they took take a look at it and I sub submit my application on the website. And they quoted me $27,000 um, for this one and the reselling value in the market for other non-Tesla second hand car dealers uh, is about $2,900 to $3,300 for this vehicle which I think the price is fair and uh, maybe a little bit lower than the market uh, average but Tesla needs to ready up the car before they can put can be listed on Tesla's website so I think the price was fair and that is for my personal experience I just want to share with you and thank you for watching and uh, let us know uh, what you think and please subscribe and comment